Hi guys, are you here with Narevit for Blender? This one we're gonna be talking about a new dice for Hardups uh, Francium 16. If you want to watch a video on all the updates for Hardups, I recommend you uh, go ahead and check out Master Z on 1001 channel. He's talking about some stuff for Set Origin. There is a new tool that allows you to drop an object to the floor regardless of the orientation. There is new stuff coming for look that really cool update. But this dice I think is just a top, you know, it's a cherry on the cake, man. Uh, so let's talk about the traditional dice, okay? If I'm gonna separate this, uh, go to local mode, um, and I wanted to play uh, place dice on it, so I wanted to, you know, run dice through that mesh, all I have to do is go to Q and then go to Mesh Tools and then click on Dice. I can move my mouse left and right to change the axes. I can press X, Y, and Z to add or remove the axes. I can scroll my mouse to adjust the number of segments, and then when I click, right magic happens the only thing is that this dice works in 3d meaning it's going to affect the entire mesh now this new dice is actually view based dice and it also works on selected faces which i think is the most incredible thing because for instance if i wanted to just dice this face i can do it now so what i'm going to do is align myself to this face first so i'm going to press ctrl q and i'm using the alignment tool in hard ups i simply have a shortcut assigned so if you go to q in edit mode right go to q and st3 mesh tools align view right click you can assign a shortcut here uh, you can see that my shortcut is uh, ctrl q uh, so um, let me just align this here and move it here and I'm going to press Q then go to dice and then you can either press tab you can see this dot here and you can switch it to 2d or uh, you can actually press V and toggle between them so this is a view based dice now the cool thing about this dice is that you can you know screw the mouse in or out you can uh, reset either X or Y axis and then when I'm going to start scrolling you can see that now we get rectangles instead of uh, quads but i can press b to box slice this and we're back to um back to rectangles but anyway so let's make it a bit dense okay and just click and boom and uh, just like that you got yourself quads on this face which is fucking incredible because look at this if i wanted to actually you know um, prepare this mesh for sub ding right i would need to create you know kind of like security loops so what i would do is i would select these faces okay i would insert them right uh, so press I twice. Actually, I'm gonna insert them separately. So press I here to insert it. Press I here to insert it. Select both of them, right? Both of them, although they're not really aligned. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this one first, right? Control Q, align myself, and then I'm gonna run dice here. Press V and run it. And then I'm gonna select this face, Control Q, and then Q, dice, V, and scroll it in. So I can, you know, a bit, this, uh, this square is a bit more dense to kind of match the other squares and boom and then all you need to do right is bloody connect this thing and for this one you can actually use the edit mesh tool so you go with edit mesh tool you press uh, j and you simply connect uh, connect them very quickly like this right and then uh, you, when you're finished you just press enter and you're done and you get yourself you know quadrified mesh i mean how fucking cool is this now what i would love to see in the next update is the ability to actually rotate this frame because just select a different face i'll show you what i mean press q dice and then v and you see i can rotate my mesh by simply um pressing my pressing a hole in my middle mouse button but you know the rotation is a bit fiddly so you know you just gotta kind of finesse it you know but it's possible yeah it's possible to align to a certain edge but it'd be nice to see alignment similar to the one we have with uh, shift v object orientation and you know alignment to nearest edge or the longest edge when you can literally align your cutter to a specific edge this is fantastic because then you would maintain the perfect angle um um, you know, based off of a certain edge, which I think would be very beneficial for a lot of people. Uh, check out uh, links in the video description because um, Blender Market has a discount right now. So all the add-ons I'm using, you can buy at 25% off. So hop on the links. Uh, the same with our products, by the way, uh, Blender Bros products are discounted on Blender Market by 25%. Make sure you're going to check the special offers we have because they're fucking incredible. And also on Gamroad, we're running a discount as well. You just simply need to input a code uh, SUMMER2021 during checkout. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.